All right, we got some info yesterday. It came out later than expected. I was busy doing stuff. And so here I am now. I'm sorry this video is late for y'all. You're probably looking for my response. And I'll just have to be honest. I like the fact you guys like to hear my opinion because I really want another fun, exciting basketball game, right? But this is Mike Young um, talking here, right? Hi there, there was some fun talk last week around celebrities and other characters from other IPs joining our game. And trust us, we discussed some of the very people slash characters brought up. Definitely a fun conversation, but right now we're primarily focused on our starting lineup characters for launch and making sure they are special, distinct, and fun. Now I wanna, you know, talk about this, right? Whenever you're asking for a collab, it normally means the company who's trying to bring the person over to collab with, it normally costs them money. So when it costs them money, normally us, the, the consumer, has to somewhat pay for it. So early on, if it's not doing good sales and, you, and we wanted to bring, you know, other characters and such, we may have to pay like a bigger bulk and to be honest, I'd rather them make their own players and we, quote, pay less. Now, you might sound being cheap. I'm not trying to be cheap. It's just, how many games have you played? They have collabs. You go, oh, man, this is awesome. It's not. And then players aren't playing and the game kind of just, you know, fizzles out. Like, um, I played three on three freestyle, right? And when the professor released, it was cool, right? 299 points you have to get the, to get the character. Now, you can easily get that by just saving it within the game and buying it, right? And then, where did that go from there? I don't think it made good sales from that. Now, they say they did, but every character that came out afterwards was like $12. Not, not $12 in points or coins or anything, like flat out $12.99. I'm not a fan of that. Um... I can't think of too many games offhand right now, but a lot of times I'd play a game and then you will start having to like pay a larger amount of money and they'll try to give out more freebies, but with them giving out more freebies, it was always like something that was in game. You could, you was gonna probably get anyway, you just get it faster. Then they want you to spend so you can, you know, give them money. So again, I'm not against collabs. I just rather them be in-house first because even if you want quote a collab, why don't we just have a custom player first and then we can just make the character we want in the game and, and then it's cheaper but that's my take right okay high wire is a high flyer <laughs> she's going to favor signature dunks and alley oops over jumpers I like that she's super confident in the paint and wants to be around the basket her leaping ability also makes her a surprisingly adept rebound now I talked about this when I said jumping you wouldn't want like you know Zamboni to have like under it was like, oh says so hop says so um jump would be higher or under like over or under and everyone said under I was like no nah, I don't know because I don't know how the on um, the rebounding works but seeing this you can become a a, a rebounder from jumping I'm like okay so Zamboni gotta have some jump. Now, am I saying Zamboni gonna have like a 95, you know, jump? No. Does a 65 jump sound reasonable? Yeah. Cause when you say over under, I'm saying over 50, under 50. You know, over half, under half. But I'm think, saying it should be over half, but not to like, you know, as high as high wire, no way. <laughs> Only because like everyone has like a 40 inch, like a vertical nowadays, even your bigs. Right? Well, I would say everyone in the NBA, for the most part, average has like a 30, uh, 25 to a 30 inch vertical. Right? So I'm just like, oh, yo, you know. And now we see the rebounding thing. Now, again, I don't want her to not have rebound, not have a jump. She might have low rebound, but this jump will help her rebound. I'm with it. Keep it going. Of course, I have not played the game. So if I flip flop, it's not me trying to be like quote, correct. It's just I don't have the part in front of me to test it out, right? Okay. Oh, you got a story, huh? Okay. How did she get here? Here's the story. Highwire was born in Tagui Tenements. 
Um, when she was eight, an NBA legend visited her home court. Well, that's kind of cool. She wanted to get up close, but was pushed to the back because she was told girls aren't supposed to play basketball. But that wouldn't stop her. She fought to the front to offer him some water. That's nice. He thanked about tossing her a t-shirt. The gift gave her credit amongst the boys and she played day and night. She knew she wanted to meet her hero again in the NBA. She had to be able to do, be able to dunk. Yeah, okay, she had to be able to dunk, that's crazy. Her workout and stuff are legend, doing 1,000 squats a day. So it almost sounds like her, uh, her, um, her hero is um, Dominique Wilkins. Which I, I don't I don't know of course or Vince Carter you know but yeah cool keep it going she became the brightest in her community people marveled at her height and leaping ability by a senior year in high school her family decided she deserved a shot at the next level she had moved to California with her aunt to attend a junior college she made the team as a walk on and played one season back home in Taguig Te her father became ill and the family struggled to make ends meet. Uh, that sucks. Against her family's will, she moved home to help her use her one year of formal art studies and college basketball experience to become a community mentor, coaching basketball and teaching art class. Our wire was the first character we developed. Okay, cool. We really wanted to represent basketball coach on the global center. What else you want to know about High Wire? Thanks as always. Right? So I like how this looks. Oh, we, we got some, uh, some some art here. Okay. Can I click on this? Well, yeah, that's cool. Okay, it says dunks, hops, boards. Oh, wait. Take it back. She had boards there. So maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I, now I don't want to say she's getting the rebound because of hops. I want to say because she also has boards. But... Now I'm looking, now I'm thinking about this. If she's gonna be able to have boys like Zamboni and Zamboni can't hop and she can hop, wouldn't this technique in a way make her a better rebounder? So she can put like a small ball big, right? I don't know. See, this is the, uh. now you, you, you were saying this was like a wing? This might be more like a power forward. She might have block, I don't know, but it's cool. Right? Okay, you see the early arts trying to do the trying to hit them with the move. I like it. Okay, big dunks. Okay, and then her trying to have some different outfits. Okay. I like this. Right? I like the fact they had a story. Now the question is about high wire and more of the game. Is it positionless basketball? You know? Because if so, I would like that. Because they, they talked about season mode. And with season mode having these stats can go anywhere, I'm for this. But now she has rebounds, she has hops, right? AKA jump. And, and Zamoni can't jump. She might be able to uh, out rebound her. But now is there, is there box out? Could you box out her? Can you out box her out? Is she gonna be like weak? You just push her out the way of the ball? I don't know. She'll definitely be uh, someone you may want in like a, uh, a stretch big lineup. You know, the big box at the other big and she sneaks in for rebounds and put back dunks in the offensive side. And on defense, she can grab the ball. Maybe she's fast, you know? Like like a, uh, like a Josh Smith. You know, get the, get the ball and maybe go coast to coast. But yeah, this was fun. Thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribing because you can put that subscribe button is right over here. And don't forget, you can watch the videos over here. I want to see you in there too, all right? You enjoy yourself.